And joining us on the phones is the one and only Mr. Gary Floyd. Hey, Gary. Yes? It's so great that you're joining us tonight again. You've been on the show so many times, and it's always a pleasure. It always seems like it's been too long, though. I haven't talked to you both. It's too too long, so I'm happy to be here. It has been too long. Like, we could talk to you every week, as far as I'm concerned. (laughs) Well, (laughs) even my big ego will say, yeah, I'll, do it. I'll, do it. I'll be right there. You know, that's one thing I've thought about you is you may think you have a big, big ego, but it certainly doesn't appear that way to us at all, ever. No, that's a that's a good thing to hear. I'd rather hear that than yeah, you are really a big. <laughs> well, gosh, Gary, haven't you had a pro- in, as a singer to a singer? And I've never really discussed this, but you know those times in life where you're just trying to do something like say promote. A, a normal promotion but you'll be accused of being an egotist and you're like no I just have the intention of letting people know I was going to be playing tonight but you get caught up in that stuff and it becomes kind of tricky it, it, you know what it's uh, it's very tricky and I am not really good at that like I've told people it's really if you want to play a club and you like the club and you want to be there I can't call up the booking person and go, hey, I know a really good band with a great singer, a little on the fat side, but a really good, I mean, I just can't, I could do the a derogatory, I, I'm, I'm much better at uh, sort of um, a critical angle, it doesn't mean I don't. Yeah, I get it. I get the it. The ability, too. but it's not easy. Yeah, you're right. It's it's not easy to to do that. But um, yeah, I just, thought, I just thought I'd bring it up because I'd never really talked about that with any other singers. I don't think. <laughs> no, we. You know, we'll talk about this later. But we still have to uh, do. Uh, you, you know, like a duo. We still have to sing together. Yeah, that would be like something on my bucket list that's been on there for a while, man. That'd be a blessing. It, 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 it definitely has. I think I've picked out a great song to the uh, Sunny and Chairs, I've Got You, Babe. And, <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> and I love Tiny Tim's version of that song. Whether he's serious or not, well, that would be great. We all love everything about Tiny. Yeah, I, didn't you... So, didn't you know him, meet him, or something? Uh, well, it, yeah. What happened was our paths crossed like four times in life, including hanging out and together and like shopping and stuff like that. But <laughs> I was a big, big fan since I was a child, and I just kind of like found out where he was living once in the '80s and wrote him a letter, and he wrote back, and he's like, he said to me, "I'm so glad that some people still like me," and I'm like, "Oh, tiny, we, I love you, man," you know. He played at a club. I used to live over on Divisadero Street across from a club here called The Pound. Um, I don't even know what it's called now. I'll be independent. I'll give you a, a dollar. And, um, and he played there one night. And he, at the end of the show, it had sort of cleared out. And me and my friends were just amazed that people well reported in and he went into a little coat booth and stood there and people walked by and he would sign whatever they had and chat with him. He was just and he seemed so genuine. I mean he seemed real. You know, I got to say, and I've said it for you since the 80s, Tiny Tim is singularly one of the very most real musicians I've ever met in my life. He's so it's genuine. Wow, well, what a thing to be able to say about somebody. Uh, yeah, I've got a friend that told me a lot of it. It seemed like he, some, some like affiliation with Dylan. Uh, like Bob Dylan knew him, and they hung up. I don't know. They had some relationship. I, I don't know. We'll, okay, we can talk about him all night, but he was a pretty <laughs> fascinating character. Well, you know, I actually asked him one time uh, when we were talking about this, and he said that he came home one time, and I think Bob Dylan was like sitting on like his porch, like waiting to meet him. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Did you see him get married to Miss Vicky um, Carson? You know, I don't remember, but I just, every, everywhere we would go when I was with him physically, almost everyone that was older than me would stop and go, hey, Tiny, I saw you on Johnny Carson back in, you know, that was always the, the main connection, which was, and he was so grateful for just any connection like that, you know. Oh, well, he gave us a lot of happiness. I mean, he just did. I had those singles. Weren't they on re Reprise? They were. Reprise Records, yes. His second album. Oh, I love that album so much, man. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. literally called Tiny Tim's second album. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> well, I bless Tiny Tim. I think that uh, he was a good... There'll never be another... Definitely not. It'll be another time. I don't think they can reproduce Tiny Tim. I, right? <laughs> the whole relationship that, and this isn't like the old man going, these kids today. But <laughs> I don't know. We were talking the other day about how, I don't know, in the second grade, I, I was listening to music and in the f fourth grade, the Beatles came along and I mean, we had such a relationship with music did. and with uh, the people that played the music. I don't know. Do people have that today? Like, do people have the he heroes that the musicians were? Well, you know, that's a good question. Back in the 60s when Jim Morrison sort of predicted that someday uh, musicians wouldn't, wouldn't be a band, but it'd be more like one guy on a stage controlling it all electronically and the, and the whole thing being like one guy so there's a new as you i'm sure know the edm kind of movement that, that these yeah. guys have their own they create their own visuals the the actual sound they have a certain look and a style and a, you know, a brand or whatever and i guess yeah. the answer would be yes because i kind of see a lot of this happening and god bless them if they're able to do it and, and if it sounds good you know yeah, I do think that at the end of the show, instead of getting forty bucks, you'd get like you know forty eight cars. <laughs> it would be so much better for the <laughs> something. The the whole thing is very different, and the but you know what it, everything changes. It's Every, not always, yeah, everything does change, and and you know I think it's funny we were talking about this very thing the other day about how. Uh, you know, when Jeff Beck passed away, and we were just talking about yeah. how there's not really, you know, any big, like, iconic, just, you know, rock stars of the day. You know, there always has been. I don't yeah. know if there was, if that was necessarily a good thing anyway, but I, I see a definite uh, nostalgia for it. You yeah. know, you know, we're definitely yeah. reliving the 90s now, and I think we're getting to the 80s slowly, <laughs> kind of going backwards, it, but it, everything it comes back. Happening. You remember uh, Bobby Sherman? Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. I love uh, Bo Bobby Sherman. I, I loved him as a young uh, homo. I would uh, hide the magazines with Bobby Sherman, but then I found <laughs> that thing on uh, te television. Who? Uh, Bobby Sherman. Okay, yeah. He's on television. And it made me so nauseated that I threw the magazines out. <laughs> 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 I would hate for Bobby to hear the story that I was disillusioned. <laughs> he, thought, he was trying to keep up with um, one of the guys in Voice and Heart dance like that and Davy Jones dance sort of a, a shuffle popping their fingers it was like oh and he also had a uh, like a kerchief tied around his neck oh no <laughs> <laughs> I thought you know what you oh boy you're you're out blowing my mind <laughs> like uh, an you know, overgrown cub scout or something oh <laughs> and, you know, but it was uh, that's uh, funny man and, yeah were you a, a child that grew up watching uh, television a lot, or were you an, a non-TV kind of kid? We were all TV. Um, there was a certain time that I needed to be beaten away from the te <laughs> television. Same here. <laughs> but, uh, I would only leave the uh, TV for just enough time to go get a bowl of ice cream. 
<laughs> okay, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, you know what? I'm a fool for vanilla. You know, that's so wild. That's always been my favorite, and it drives certain people nuts. They're like, how can you like just vanilla? I'm like, hey, it's a flavor. I love it. I don't know. It's a flavor. And, you know, you might put, even today, if I get any, which I try to stay away from, but it's, uh, I'm never disappointed with a big scoop of vanilla. And, uh, I'm unapologetic. <laughs> you shouldn't have to apologize. No, I'm okay being proud. But if they don't have that, I've never had trouble finding like another flavor. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I like the raspberry. I like a little blackberry ice cream. Oh uh, 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 yeah. How did we get? I'll here? even take it. They're really low. I'll take a, a big scoop of old sock. <laughs> 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 I I will never uh, <laughs> never <I'll> say no. <laughs> wow, uh, that gives a whole meaning to the, the what is it the thirty one Baskin Robbins flavors the dirty sock <laughs> old sock is was it yes old sock. <laughs> There's going to be thirty two before long. There'll be thirty two flavors. That is hilarious. And if we really want to go back to the elementary school way. So we can make it an even hundred. Right? <laughs> oh, that would be easy. and We'd be grossing out half the audience, though. <laughs> there would be nobody left. Nope. Nope. Nobody left. And that's good. So we should move on. Hey, Gary, um, I know that you've been doing music for so long, and I know that you kind of did the last Dick show a long time, quite a while ago. You you have made it clear that, you know, because of certain uh, physics that we all deal with, age, health, but yes. the, you, you might not be out performing, like singing or whatever, but you're, the artist is very much alive in you. What do you do to express your art? Are you doing a lot of painting today? Do you draw? Or do you write poetry? Well, the last... Well, you know what I'm doing? I'm uh, writing a new book. Ooh. And I've for like, Interesting. Um, like a year and a half, and it's just, uh, it's going to be, the way I envisioned it is a thought for the day, and then it sort of turned into like possibly a nightmare for the day. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> just uh, free thought, free uh expressive writing about whatever my mood will be. And I try not to make it too, um, what does it mean? You think only of your own expression, uh, but it, it, the thoughts of getting rid of whatever mood that I might be in to keep me neutral. So it's Gary uh, Gary Floyd ponderings. So Gary Floyd's... It's sort of pondering. And yeah. uh, some of them are very happy and lead you to a happy mood. Some are very sexual. And uh, some are not not like a happy thing. They're, they're sad. Well, so it takes, um, it takes all kinds. You know, I would love to... Uh, to to check that out when you're done so make sure that you keep us posted uh to the progress as of that so and what is gary floyd listening to we're gonna have to wrap it up here but i want to ask you just I, right right now if you were gonna go put on something to play and listen to other than the church of rock <laughs> what would it be what would you be, putting? be a hard thing because that's of course always on top right and <laughs> that, thank you that's the one it's it's really hard to, uh, to co you know, I'm so bad with names, but I haven't heard of this. It's a woman who, her name is um, Carlisle. Um, Carlisle, okay. Oh, is it, is it Belinda, it's not Belinda from the Go-Go's. No, it's not, but it's a name like that. She's okay. a friend of uh, jo Joni M Mitchell. And she got Joni to come and play at a festival. I feel so stupid. I should just say someone else. Uh, she has an album called The Story. Okay, well, I'm writing and it down. Incredible. Absolutely. Just incredible. I'm going to check yeah. her out. Yeah, Tracy says she's going she's gonna to write that down and check that person out. Please just look up that. Dolly Parton did a cover of that song. So... She's in really good co company. She's really, really good. Did you? And, get, uh, 
Did you get to see that uh, duet with uh, uh, Rob Halford and Dolly Parton, by the way? Speaking of Dolly. That was so, that was so great. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. Wasn't that unbelievable? It was. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I mean, I've never been a huge fan of his, although I do like him. Uh, not a big fan. I'm a bigger fan of Dolly's. Well, yeah. It was great watching him fanboy out over Dolly Parton. Because he's a big he's a big Dolly Parton fan, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It is. It, it was. And I like uh, you know I I listen to so many, and I know it's very trite for somebody to say that, but I listen to so many different kinds of uh, music, and uh, I was listening to some. Oh, I, you know I like uh, Ernest Tubb. Ooh, Ernest oh, Tubb, yeah. It. Walk in the and floor over you. His nephew plays well, and here. That, you, yeah. you did the voice perfectly. That <laughs> and it in the middle of a word. And uh, Waltz Across Texas. I would listen to that 30 times in a row. Wow. And yeah, I remember uh, we were on tour once, Gary, back in nineteen like eighty nine down, and we were in Nashville, and we went to the Ernest Tubb Museum. I don't know if you ever came across that place down there. And was it wonderful? It was really cool, yeah, because I've always been a big fan of, of old country, so yeah, we could go on all day about music styles, because I think we it share really, we share that uh, love of music, I think. We need more time to sit down and talk, because I can... I have a feeling any any crumb dropped in this, this ocean <laughs> would be eaten up. I think that anything brought up, we could probably talk about for a long time. Yep. And, That's uh, the magic of our friendship and the magic of the our mutual respect. And uh, everyone, you're listening to a chat with Gary Floyd. Uh, I've been a lifelong fan ever since the early 80s, and he, Gary has come a long way in his development and his different artistic styles. I've been currently obsessing over his Black Kalima album, which is really underrated. Uh, but we could go on forever, but I want to go back, and I know it might be whatever, but I've got to go back to 1983. I want to play yep. something that's close to my heart. That's When I was a young guy, I I was really into like the just the people that had the angst and were expressing it through music and it's a song the dicks did called no nazi's friend oh man buff parent played the lead and glenn who was not the usual uh lead guitar but he played bass and oh, interesting uh, i always say buff it was the uh best lead ever in any song in the history of rock because he was probably playing with a broken beer can or something <laughs> he, he was uh yeah well i'm glad to hear you say that i, I also like that song yeah it's from an album from 1983 called kill from the heart gary anything you'd like to say before we split i love you i love you tracy oh, we love the you people that are listening to the show i send my very best and uh I was ill, and a lot of people got in touch through Facebook, and it was very sweet. So, uh, you know, I'm old, but I'm an example. You can get old, but you don't have to just stay it into the wall. No, you don't. Amen. But you know what? If you want to, fade. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead and fade into the music. Once again, the great Gary Floyd. Let's do this again down the road, my friend. Absolutely. I look forward to it. I've also looked forward to sitting face to face having coffee. I oh, can't that, wait. That'll be sooner than later, my friend. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, Gary. Hey, good care. I'm going to go. Okay, brother. Cheers Love and you, thank Gary. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.